Welcome once again to another edition of our public service, proudly brought to you by 4 Group Philippines. This week, we highlight another positive response from our previous problem being sent to us here in our show. Weeks back, we received a complaint about an earring taxi driver refusing a passenger and even offered a contractor procedure. We deemed it right to ask the president of the Philippine National Taxi Operators Association, or PINTOA, attorney Bong Suntai, a taxi operator himself, on how they react to such complaint. So, it's also a way for us to, to improve yung services namin pagka nagko-complain yung pasahero at pinararating sa amin na pinapatawag namin gagad yung driver, iniimbestigahan, kinakausap yung mga nag, yung nagreklamo kung ano yung nangyari. And kagaya sa amin, naipit kami. Sabi ko nga, okay lang sa akin na hindi lumabas yung auto. Huwag lang ako maipunan ng, uh, ng mga masamang driver. Yan yung uh, prinsipyo namin dito sa basic taxi. Eh. So, pagka may reklamo at uh, valid, legitimate yung complaint, na-investiga namin na tama, hindi na namin pinapayagan yung uh, driver na maglabas sa amin. As an association, Attorney Suntai also said that they post on their website the names of earring drivers to caution the motorists. Meron din kaming uh, website ang uh, Pinto, ang Philippine National Taxi Operators Association, kung saan ina-upload namin yung mga earring drivers to serve as a warning sa mga membro namin na, uh, wop, kanyari, uh, may driver na salbahe o nangongontrata at uh, tinanggal namin. Para alam nila na, oh, itong driver na ito, may history ito ng pangungontrata, o kaya may history ito ng aaway ng uh, pasahero, so mag-iingat kayo. Kaya ganun. That was Attorney Bong Suntai, President of Pintoa, on his insights on how they solve and react on complaints from passengers about earring taxi drivers. Next week, he would also share to us their association's undertakings to further enhance the skills of their taxi drivers and also give tips to passengers on how to be safe when riding a taxi.